Hello, my Cosmic Healing Tribe, and welcome to the Daily Astrology and Tarot Report for November 16th, 2020. So today we have the moon in Sagittarius, and the moon in Sagittarius is about our high mind, our philosophies, our perspectives. Um, however, when I really go into the house of Sagittarius in the perspective of applied metaphysics, the house of Sagittarius is about how you're allowing the electrodes, the fire in your mind to connect to the possibilities in your emotional state to create and manifest something more through your body, through that combination of both your higher mind and of your primal instincts. And we are coming off of this new moon in Scorpio, which is very intense. It has been and will be and will, it is going to leave lasting energies of transformation through embracing the void. See, this energy requires that as you have taken account for perspectives, for ideas, for habits, for connections that are being released, suddenly there is this new space. And with this releasing, there's also an awareness of, yes, a sadness about the shift, about the things that had to be released, about how these patterns have affected you and other people, but also an opportunity of saying, okay, I'm going to step up. I'm going to be accountable for my energy. I've made a priority of who and what is important. And I'm really going to get into that. And that type of communication, the type of perspective with yourself and with other people is what's going to be giving you you the most benefit of the energies that are available today. Now we do have Venus in a square to Jupiter, and this is an intense but good thing, right? Venus and Jupiter is a square, so there is a friction. There is a friction between what you want, your partnerships, your desires, what you value and your expansions, and the fact that when you want something, there's going to have to be a sacrifice, and then Jupiter is like, Meh. but Jupiter and Capricorn is different. Jupiter and Capricorn is saying, okay, I am going to invest in myself. I am going to put in that long-term vision. I do find the value in the um, long, right? I find the value in the long, the long part of the journey, the long part of the steps, and which is why um, it's so appropriate, the card that we get today, which is the five of cups. Yeah. So I consider and apply the, the five of cups as the card of emotional perspective, right? Yes, there are three cups that have spilled over at the bottom. There is a loss. There is a sense of um, sadness about the connections about the ideas about the feelings the hopes the dreams the things the things that are the things that have been spilled however if you take and embrace that emotional perspective you see that there's two cups right behind that as you go in and through the stages of transformation of grief of death birth and regeneration all those scorpionic things that there will be both the balance of growth and death of up and down of more and less and always of yourself. So in the end, and as always, we will and you shall stay cosmic. I love all of you guys and I will see you tomorrow.